Hi, and welcome to this quick tip, which is on the subject of passing notes. So what are passing notes? Well, when you have a melody in music, you normally find that the note in the melody belongs to a chord. So in other words, say I've got a C in the melody, and I'm in the key of C major, well, I might have a chord of C major to go with it. So if I put down a chord of C major, which is C, E and G, you can hear that C fits nicely with that chord. Now, it could be possible that you could write all of your melody notes with chords, but it could be a little bit tedious after a while. Let me give you an example. I'm going to just improvise a short piece of music where all the notes of the melody belong to the chord that I'm playing at the time. Sounds all right, doesn't it? But you wouldn't want to carry on like that for too long without a little bit of embellishment in the melody, something like this. And what I'm doing there is using some passing notes. So what exactly is a passing note? Well, a passing note has to pass by step between two other notes. So here's an example on the board here where I've got a C that belongs to a chord and then there's E that would belong to a chord and I've just slipped in this D in between. Now the D doesn't belong to the chord but it's going by step between the C and the E. So if I put down a chord of C again and instead of just going C to E I go C D E you can hear how this D is not part of this chord, but it just passes between two notes that do belong to that chord. So it adds a bit of melodic interest, but it still works because it's passing by step. Now, if it comes between beats like this one does, we call it an unaccented passing note. And if it comes on the beat like this one does, we call it an accented passing note. And an accented passing note is going to be stronger than an unaccented passing note. So here's the unaccented passing note. And here's the accented passing note. So you can hear how that accented passing note is a bit stronger. So for example, if you were writing a song and you just want something to be a bit more florid in the melody, you could use an unaccented passing note. If you're writing a song and you've got a particularly poignant word that you want to express, well, you might think about using an accented passing note. So there we are, an introduction to passing notes.